Professor, I'm going to begin with you. Um, happy birthday to President Biden, who's turning 80 this weekend. Is it fair, though, to criticize someone's age, specifically when they're in a certain role? Well, I don't necessarily think age should be used whether somebody is 80 or 50 or 40. Uh, I do understand why people are interested and concerned. There's no sugar coat coating aging. Once individuals make it out to these older ages, risks uh, are higher of things going wrong with the human body. But that is not a reason for somebody not to be president. And for reasons I'm sure we're going to discuss in a moment, Biden is not 80 years old in many other ways. Oh, I love that teaser you just gave. And I am going to speak about it in a moment. And here's the hint, super ager. And uh, the professor is going to tell us about that in a moment. But Ashton, let me ask you um, about something. I, I saw you on CBS Sunday Morning. I'm a regular watcher of that show. And some of the things that you said really stuck with me, that there's so much ageism out there that we don't even know. We don't even recognize. We don't even, it's just normal, like birthday cards. Most birthday cards, you know, take a real dig at you um, for, you know, getting a few years older. But what other things are out there that we don't even realize are actually kind of damaging? Oh, they're in, in the culture everywhere we can imagine or in the absence of older people and in the way, um, you know, women in particular are vilified for appearing to age at all that were ushered off the stage uh it's just it's in the air every time someone says uh you know you look good for your age and in, in all the millions of ways we emphasize that you are aging well by appearing to not age at all and that to age is to fail you know when in fact we you know we never hear the the other side of the story which is all the multiple ways in which aging also advantages us which is not to push the scary stuff under the rug but we never hear the other side of the story you know i don't know when yeah, you want ask, to, actually, to go back to their youth. Ask the Native American Indians, they'll tell you that their elders are the best people on the planet because they know a lot more and they can help you get you know, there faster without the, the pitfalls. All right, Professor, to, to that tease now, you did this uh, study that was published evaluating uh, President Biden and President Trump's medical records and you discovered that Biden is something called a super ager. What is that? So, uh, first of all, I did this work with uh, colleagues of mine who are board certified geriatricians, they're MDs, and we evaluated the detailed medical records of uh, both Biden and Trump and came to the conclusion that both of them exhibit characteristics of superagers. This is a subgroup of the population that, can, that are 80 and, uh, aged 80 and older who are exhibiting many of the uh, signs and symptoms associated with being decades younger in terms of cognitive functioning. A very unusual subgroup of the population. And what we've seen, uh, certainly from Biden's medical records, suggests that he has all of the characteristics of these uh, younger individuals. He takes very few medications. Um, he's on his bicycle, which, you know, the fact that he fell off is almost completely irrelevant. The fact that he was on it to begin with is an indication that he's physically active, uh, which is, right. uh, you know, a common characteristic and among these healthy people. By the way, not just on a bike, he was on a bike with uh, traps and I have fallen off because my foot gets stuck in the trap. So I'm with you on that one. I have to leave it there, but what a great topic. I so appreciate it. And Ashton, I'll just say this again. Your book is called uh, This Chair Rocks. And I'm just going to tell our viewers what you said. Uh, when someone asks you or says you look good for your age, you're supposed to say right back, yes, yeah, so do you. <laughs> Thank you to both of you, Professor Olszewski and Ashton Applewhite. Nice to have you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.